Good morning. Uh, I'm back. Uh, it's been a while since I put out a, a YouTube video. Uh, I've been kind of busy uh, between two of my two computer games came out that I love and I've been playing because I've said before one of my big uh, stress reliefs before coloring was playing uh, computer games and uh, so I've been enjoying that, but I've also been busy with other things um, because it's cold too. I also have to knit my little chihuahua sweater, which because uh, she's always cold. She even keeps it on on home at night. I have to literally force it out of her. Uh, and um, and been busy, you know. I'm going to be going uh, away to spend Thanksgiving with my son and daughter-in-law in Seattle, Washington, so I'm going to be busy getting ready for that pretty soon. Uh, so I figured I'd sneak a, a, a video um, b before the, before I get busy again. Um, I've, I've, I think I mentioned in my last video that my next uh, uh, coloring page would be from uh, Johanna Bashford, The Magical Jungle. Um, it's fairly new. Uh, it came out right before the Christmas one that she just put out. And uh, and I have mentioned it before. I do love her, all her books. Uh, this one is not quite as um, what I call cross dye material, which you've heard me say before. Um, but it's still very detailed and it's still great work. And I still love this book. I've only colored one page which I've showed it I think I've showed it in the last video but if I did it let me show you real quick um, this one I enjoyed doing that but it, uh, you know it's got a lot of big coloring spaces I like going for the less uh, spacey you know more like that right there uh, rather than this right here but anyway um, it's still going to be fun to color. Uh, it, I had a hard time picking the next one because um, I'm going to use my water, water color pencils. And uh, these are the ones I have. There's no particular brand to these. Uh, I bought these, I don't know, last year uh, for, out of Amazon. It's a set uh, of 72. It comes with its own case and everything. And I haven't used it a lot. But I did use it that was my favorite media before before I got used to the acrylic for big areas acrylic paint um and that's what I started using for backgrounds in big wide areas plus you know I, I really like doing the the washes before I actually do uh, do the actual coloring and you can do that with acrylic because you can go over it with the pencil especially if you have prismacolor pencils which i do like i said before my son-in-law was nice enough to give me a set of 72 and i have since then added to that collection now with the coloring pencils i'm going to use the watercolor pencils of course and i like using these a lot of people don't a lot of people say that they get too much water, which is true. Sometimes you do, and that's why I keep tissues handy for the cases like that. Because uh, you can always make it lighter if you put too much, you know, soak it with the. I'll show it to you what I do. I have different. The one I use the most is probably this one because it's worn out. Yeah, this is number one. This is the one I use most of the time, and when I do watercolor. Um, let's see as you can see uh it, it, the the tip has green now it's green but it's just stained uh it's clean um it doesn't uh it, it, it they do get stained and uh, as long as they clean and the water comes out clear um you have nothing to worry about and this one is number two now i haven't really used this one maybe a couple times um and uh, I know I have not used this one. Well, maybe I have a, 
a couple times too. I don't to be honest, I don't remember when using this one. But this one is a wider brush as you can see. I don't think I've ever used this one. But anyway, um I also keep one of these uh in case you know I need to just spread it without I have too much water sometimes I, this is another way I used to spread the color. And <clears throat> whenever I use watercolor or even acrylic, always keep some uh, paper, any kind of paper, scrap paper. I like to use. I have so much, so many note things that it's not even. I collect those, um, so I like to, I use that and that use that to uh, to uh, clean my brushes. Or oops, sorry. Um, you know, um, try to see if it's too dark or not. If I don't want to take a um a chance, um, so getting right on. Now I will not be finished this in a video, and this will not be a series. So, uh, I don't know how far I'll go. Uh, usually my limit is twenty minute videos. Sometimes it goes a little bit over. But I, I've never done anything. I don't think, I think my, oops, my, sorry. My longest video, um, it was like 26 minutes. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll go that far or not. Uh, because, well, I don't have a lot of time. But, you know, I don't want to make it too boring either. Because I can't fast forward with, um, with this. Um, the thing I love about watercolor pencils is that, you can use them as a regular coloring pencil, or you can use it as a color pencil. Now, I've never tried blending with these, because, again, it's been a while since I used one. But I guess we're going to find out. So, let me go ahead and uh, zoom in. We're going to start with the beak, I think, if I can get it. Um Okay, I uh, may have to turn the book around because uh, you can't really see the tip. So let's do some, and I'm very good at maneuvering things around. So it's going to be upside down, something I don't like to do because I like, but you know, sometimes you have to do what you got to do. Of course, you know, I have uh, my, uh, my, um, oops. A cardboard underneath this page, you know, especially dealing with water. Now, I haven't used uh, any water coloring because I only did that on one page and I used mostly pencils, my Prismacolor coloring pencils. So I have no idea how this will do with water. I'm assuming you'll be like her, Johanna Bashford's other books. And it uh, takes a little bit of water, but not too much. Again, if it wrinkles, I like the sound of wrinkle paper. So wrinkle paper does not bother me. Anyway, I'm starting with this. I don't even know what color. This is from the orange. That's what I was aiming for. Now, I don't use, I don't go by, uh, we're going to start with this here. I don't go by the original colors of the you know, the, the, in this case, the bird, um, because I just, you know, I just don't, I like rainbow colors, and colorful colors, bright colors, that's just the way I am. Now, usually, with watercolors, I don't even bother going close to the lines, I just do one, one heavy spot, and then spread it, but... In this case, I'm just going to try it this way and see. I'm using number one. And, you know, always, um, I always, you know, make sure it's not too wet and just go a little bit. And the thing with these is you don't want to squeeze when you do that, which, you know, I don't, I, I like, I like using these. But as you can see, the water is starting to come out and it gets brighter and, uh, and, and if you're afraid that you got too much water, and this is where I use this, like this. Um, probably need the smaller brush. Yeah. But I'm too lazy to go get it right now. So, oops. Yeah, I'm going to need a smaller. This is when I'm lazy. I need a small. Here you go. It's already smudged, but that's okay because I will fill this in part, so... 
And then if you want more color, that's that's the nifty thing about uh, using, uh, you can always go over it, you know, and put more color if you want. Like in this case, I just want, um, and I always check in the back to see what kind of effect. So far, there's no, um, it's not really affecting the other side. But uh, I need more water. Um, and it's hard for me to do upside down. But anyway, see how it spreads so nicely. I love watercolor. Now I try just regular watercolor. You now it comes in little circle things or square things. Now see, I got a lot of water in there. So I'm just going to swap it gently. Which bring, makes it a little lighter. And if you want to darker you can always go with the pencil and go over it, it it's up to you it, it's um it, it gives you a lot of control i think you know i forgot to get a little container of water for my regular um but see that's when i love these because there's water in it so you can just get a little container i have a little container somewhere over here and you can just put Squeeze some water in it, and voila, you got your water. Of course, now I can't find any little container, of course. Uh, so we're going to forget about that. We're just going to go in because I don't need to dry things. Anyway, so after you're done with one color, if you want to switch color, just remember to go see. It's nice and clear, so I don't have to worry about it. And uh, I guess now I have to decide what other color I want to use uh, in, in there. Well, I think I'm going to go to the outline and do it. Since I'm going in a red and orange family here, I'm going to pick a, a dark color. Oh, i got to sharpen this. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, the, it, it, it's one of, I don't know why they do this. I get, I'm sure there's a reason, but you know when they come... Instead of having a sharp beak, it's kind of a flat, uh, you know, flat tip. I don't know why they do that, uh, but I just don't like the flat tips. But that's okay. That's why we got pencil sharpeners. Anyway, so I'm um, going to go with a dark, um, um, oops. With a darker red here. Uh, it doesn't look darker now, but once you add water, you'll see it. Now, normally on this here, I would use a, um, I'd use a, a pen, a gel pen, or a marker to do this. I would not. And I'll just blow on it, but you know, I got my my brush here somewhere. Uh, that's why I keep this brush to do that. Now, again, you don't have to worry about making it smooth because you're going to smooth it out with water. And this one's going to be trickier because it's a narrow area. And I don't do well with the narrow areas with water <laughs> without smudging or something. But, you know, that's okay. It's my coloring book. I can do whatever I want with it. Um... Uh, so, um, for those of you who are particular about going over the lines, I suggest when you do, if you do go with watercolor, I suggest don't do it with watercolor. Use a pen. Yeah, because see, I got a little smudges again later. When I'm done with it, it's not going to matter because it'll, it'll be all covered up. Now, I'm also going to use this pen so far. Uh, for the middle thing on the, on the beak here. Um, let's see. And I uh, see I'm having a hard time seeing. Uh, see now what I do is I have my 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 fellow I <laughs> I use this uh, this magnifying glass it has a stand um <coughs> it's, see it goes like this yeah I, I'm just too lazy to bring the camera up so you can see it better. But, and I got this at Radio Shack. <clears throat> and, this, and I got this because, you know those postcards that you can get? And I have, I have a Johanna, this, um, I'll show, this, 
these postcard books well uh you know these uh i thought these are cool and everything you know but look at the size of these things i mean look at that you gotta be we have really good eyes which obviously i don't have anymore so i have to depend on my magnifying contraption over there and I got that one at Radio Shack a while ago, too. And uh, uh, it's great. I couldn't do it without it. And now I'm getting into the habit of using more than just the postcards. Because I, I colored two of them for my son's birthday and my daughter-in-law. And uh, oh, that was, there's no way I would have made coloring it without the magnifying glass. And I, I was using a regular, a regular one. Um, let me see. I was using this big, big one. See, and the thing is, you gotta hold it. You can't stand it. So that was not working out for me because that was hurting my other hand. Oops, I'm making a disaster here. Then I bought this one from Radio Shack because it's you know smaller. And the the, the cool thing about this one is it's got a light. See, it's got it's got a light. And that is cool, but again, you know, you gotta hold it. So that was not what I wanted. So then I just went to Radio Shack and got that one because um, that one I can just stand and uh, and I will show it sometime in some book when I have to use it. But anyway, back to this. Um, so you just go. Over. You gotta be careful not to squeeze too much. Now, when I like doing large areas because large areas if you don't squeeze eventually you will have to squeeze to get the water out to get a little bit of water out but when you do little spaces like that you don't um let me let me see if i can get closer no okay well i can if i don't mess it up but well not getting a lot of well never mind i'm gonna waste all my time doing that and then uh but anyway um you see how much redder it gets once you mix it with water and again you know you can always go over it yeah and you know you can always go over it with the pencil if you want it darker and once it's wet it's easier to spread you know some people do that first some people will actually get the tip of the pencil wet in in color i i don't do that i don't know why i, I just i like it doing it this way better i, I don't really have any particular reason it's just I, I just like it better that way now i don't know why this should be a different color anyway um Let's see what are the colors. Should I? I'm probably gonna go with like a dark yellow for, for the rest of the week. Um, you know, almost orange, but well, okay. Again, see, see, it has the square tip. I don't like that. I don't know about anybody else, but anyway, let's try. It. See, I mean, it's okay. You can still uh, draw, okay, but I just. For this, like, this is a big area, so for this, it's okay. But, um, um, as you can see, I'm going in circles. And, again, you don't really have to, um, be, uh, it's not like when you do regular coloring pieces, you don't have to cover all the white spaces because, uh, you know, when you spread it with the water, it'll just spread. It's like blending with the regular pencil and, um. Uh, If I can just stay within the lines. Uh, uh, I didn't even think about what colors I'd use in this. Which most of the time that's how I do it. I just pick the colors as I go. And um, well it uh, seems to work for me. So what is that saying? If it's not broken don't fix it. I don't know something like that. Um, so, I want this, uh, to come out fairly bright and dark, so that's why I'm putting more color into it, 
because like the, the 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 water itself will make it brighter which that's what i like about watercolor pencils and i did try you know just the real color watercolor and i don't know i just don't like it as much i don't know because you know it's the same thing i just don't see now we go with the water see and you can go and you can see it gets brighter and uh, again you can't really be in one spot too long because uh, then the more the longer you do that the more order you're gonna get so you have to really be quick you should have seen the first time i used these I must put a hole in the in the book but you know that's how you learn you know you put a hole you move on it's just a coloring book for crying out loud Again, I use this, uh, and I know I say this in all my videos, but this is important, I believe. This is my stress relief. And and I really enjoy it, too. So, you know, uh, some people may not enjoy it as much. Others do. and um, But I, I'm one of those that really enjoys. Now, look how nice that looks. And it's, you know, it gives you that, that watercolor thing, a look. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, um, and again, you know, got to wash, got to wash, you know, you can squeeze it, you squeeze it, the water, see, see the drop, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, you can see that, see. And, and then sometimes I just do this to really clean it. That's how I do it. And I'll dry it, the tip a little bit with my Kleenex. Now for the, for that little circle thing, I, I don't really know what normally color they use for that. Or, but, you know, again, it's my coloring book. You know, Miss Dee Dee, I forgot the last name. She does a lot of videos. And I did mention her before in my videos uh like she says you know you're the boss of your coloring book she says that so i'm just repeating what she said and um that's what i think about when uh you know when i do something and um uh, it either doesn't oh i think that's the same color i used before um let's see uh what use whatever this is um now, these pencils are genetic, I guess, because they don't have a color on it or anything. And that's why uh, they have a number on it. But I don't know. Um, so, I'm, that's why I'm not sharing the color names and stuff with you. Um, so, um, yeah, that's why, you know, because, you know, when I use my Prismacolor, I tell you. That looks a lot like that one. Oh, well, that's okay. Uh, and the tip. Oh, I still got the bottom. Oh, I forgot that bottom part. Oh, uh, shoot. Do I remember which one I used? Okay, so this might end up being a different color. I can't tell. I don't remember what the color. See, that's a problem I have. Don't do that. Don't put your pencils back on the case until you're done. Okay, this is going to be a little, I don't know if this is the same color or not, but regardless, it's the one that's going to go. Um, and uh, let's see, I'm not, it's still going to look good. It might be the same color. I may have lucked out this stuff. But like I was saying, uh, don't, uh, don't put the pencils back in the case until you know for sure that you're done with it. Which, you know, I always think I know for sure that I'm not going to use it again. And then, so, what I suggest is keep the pencils out that you are using separate until you you're completely done with that area of your page or, or the page. And I, you know, I say this all the time and I never do it. I believe this is the same color. Oh, boy. Yeah, I locked down on this one. So, and that's usually what happens to me. But, you know, if you don't, if you're particular about stuff like that, just don't put it back. 
And uh, this video is going to go a little longer than what I normally do, I guess. Because um, I want to just finish the tip now since I'm so close to being done. Uh, oh, what color do I use? I need to go different on that. Uh, you can purple. Because, you know, I'm a purple kind of person. Or yellow. I like yellow. Bright yellow. I don't know. Well, we're going to try yellow. Um, and I believe that usually it's the opposite. The, the tip of the beak is usually dark. And this is a really, I don't know if this yellow is going to work or not. I picked a really, yeah, I don't like this yellow. Let's see, uh, okay, about a darker yellow since I already, okay, well, I don't know if I'm just going to work out. But it's going to be a multi-yellow kind of beak I don't know this is not coming my way go we're going a little let's put some water on it see if uh well, well okay well that's what it's gonna be now because I don't uh, I'm not gonna mess with it maybe after it dries I'll go over it and there you go and that is it for today for this video um thank you for watching if you liked it if you like this video please give me a like or subscribe um i don't know if i'll be doing any more videos before the holidays most likely not uh but you know with me you never know um uh, and the next one, I have no idea what the next book that I'll be doing will be, but I'm sure it'll be a nice one. Um, well, so until then, you all have Merry Christmas, a very happy Merry Christmas, a great Thanksgiving, and I said that in the wrong order, but, uh, and uh, happy holidays, um, and uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Have a great day.